Hi guys and uh, welcome once again to uh, one of my little videos and today I'm going to uh, I'm going to make a little RF probe I, I needed recently a um, a way of detecting um, RF and I looked into it and I found a few circuits on the uh, the in internet and um, basically I went through the junk box and this is how I've done it so Essentially, what I've got here is a 220 nanofarad um, ceramic capacitor, and I'm just going to plonk that in rows 29 and 31 of my breadboard. It doesn't, doesn't really matter much. Um, we're going to use a, a standard LED. Um, you'll notice that one side's flat, has also a short leg. Um, long leg's positive. The short um, leg is negative and if you imagine that flat as a as a line uh, with an arrow pointing towards it when you look at the, the uh, schematic drawings you'll actually see that there's a normally a line with like a, a little triangle well that that triangle is almost its uh, direction of, of flow so we're going to we're going to remember that that is is the line okay so there we go that pops in there like so then we're going to use these diodes and again remember that this obviously this this is the the line that you'll see in the ceramic um the, the black line here is the black line you'll see in in your in the uh, schematic diagrams and if you imagine again the arrow pointing towards that black line then we know that the direction of flow so what we're going to do is we know that the the current is actually flowing in this particular case in that direction and we need to complete the circuit so we're going to take another diode okay again noting the black line okay and we're going to point that towards we're going to put we're going to put one end of that to the um, short leg of the of the diode or the LED okay so now we've got the three triangles pointing in a in a, in a in a circuit and that's actually now creating a, a little circuit the little ceramic uh, capacitor obviously runs in parallel with the, the LED there now we're going to take a uh, 100 proof uh, ceramic uh, capacitor and where the two diodes uh, join we're actually going to put one leg of the, the capacitor to that connection and then just uh, we're going to leave one leg in free space for the moment um, that's our actual RF pickup and what we're going to do is we're going to take a I've just got a piece of wire it doesn't really make much difference um, and I'm going to put that in the same row as our capacitor now I've got a an RF source here which is a little uh, two-way radio um, and if I get this right there you go you'll if I turn one of these lights off I'll turn it down there you go you'll see the uh, when I push the PTT of the radio you'll see the LED lighting up and we can actually sense where the the area or the antenna is uh, hottest uh, near the tip um, I don't know how much use this little circuit is um, but I thought it was fun um, enjoy um, I'll, do, I'll show you a little close-up um, but enjoy have a go at making it there's, um, there's nothing uh, nothing special on there at all um just for your information um the uh, the, the diodes they're very standard 1n4148 uh, diodes as i say the red led was just a standard red led that is a 220 nanofarad uh, ceramic capacitor and that one is just 100 puff they're very basic components nothing special um i'm going to attempt later on i've uh, butchered up a pen um, as you can see, I'm going to attempt later on to build the whole thing into a, into a pen, but um, what that will do, I, I, I really don't know. So uh, watch this space. Enjoy.